Hey guys, welcome to a new episode of Just Rolled In. On today's episode, I'll be showing you the best decline repairs, rusty vehicles, and modified customer vehicles we have seen in the past 3 plus years. Alright, customer states, car clunks, under acceleration. This vehicle was also driven to the shop, and the customer said they just bought it a month ago. The customer wants us to uh, install a uh, four-flat uh, trailer wiring. Not exactly sure he'd be able to pull anything. And this vehicle was driven in like this. The technician said the customer declined repairs, but the wheel fell off in the parking lot, so the customer got them done. Customer states he just wants his control arm fixed. So Fred Flintstone just dropped off his Sierra. I thought that the, you know, floor mat might get in the way, you know, hamper acceleration, but I mean, the guy probably knows more about it than I do. This customer drove to the shop with their van in this condition. Once the shop told the customer what parts that needed to be replaced, the customer declined repairs and drove away. Customer states vehicle pulling to the left. Hmm. Customer states they have an exhaust leak. The technician said this vehicle was driven in like this with a missing control arm bushing and bolt. The technician said it needed more than just the exhaust leak repaired, but the customer declined repairs. Customer states they have a brake noise after they installed new brakes and calipers. The customer brought new calipers for the front to have the shop install them as he thinks that's the issue. The mechanic found that the customer did not see the trailing arms to be rusted through and the rest of the undercarriage falling apart due to rust. And this customer brought on their car as they said the left front is grinding when tapping on the brakes too hard and they can smell burning rubber. The technician found that the driver's side lower control arm was completely rusted through. He notified the customer of the repairs needed but they declined repairs and drove away. This Chevrolet Impala came in for an overheating concern, but the mechanic knew there was more wrong with this car when he drove it into the shop. The mechanic found a radiator to be leaking and also notified the customer their vehicle wasn't safe to drive. This is one hand. One hand. <laughs> and this vehicle just came in to get new tires installed. The technician noticed multiple engine mounts were broken, which the customer never mentioned anything about, and they declined all repairs. And this truck came in because the customer needs it to pass an emissions inspection. The mechanic said this is just a few of the things they found wrong with this truck, but the customer didn't want any of the other issues they found fixed and said he will just bring it to another shop. And this customer came in for an oil change and new tires. The mechanic said they couldn't lift up the car on a hoist as it was too low and had this custom body kit. This customer brought in their vehicle that they just bought and have a complaint that it slides sideways like they're driving on ice anytime they accelerate. The customer also drove this 200 miles back home from where they bought it from. And this customer came in as they wanted some more chrome pieces installed on their hood that require some drilling to install them. A customer drove in for an oil change before going on a road trip. The technician noticed that the front tires and the front struts needed to be replaced. The customer declined repairs and still went on the road trip. This vehicle came in to get new struts installed. The shop refused to work on this car once they saw this damage. 
This vehicle only came in to get new winter tires installed. The shop refused to work on this car as it's unsafe to drive. The customer said they will be apparently taking it to the scrapyard. This customer brought in their vehicle as they think it needs an alignment. The technician discovered where the trailing arms bolt to the underside of the body is rusted away. Once the customer was told of the damages, they said they will be bringing the vehicle to a scrapyard. And this vehicle was towed in as it does not start. The technician found a reason why the fuse for the fuel pump control module blew, but the customer just wanted a new fuse installed and drove away. Customer states he replaced the front brake calipers and has no pedal. The technician found brake fluid leaking from the banjo bolt and that the customer had installed new brake pads on very rusted rotors. The customer was given a quote but declined repairs as he said his commute to work is only 5 miles so he should be fine. This customer just came in for a tire repair and the mechanic noticed they had no rear brakes. He notified the customer and they declined repairs and wanted to drive their vehicle away. The shop advised the customer that the vehicle should be towed away as it's unsafe to drive. The customer declined so the shop paid for a tow truck. This customer's Subaru was towed to the shop for a no start concern. The mechanic said his shop refused to work on this car as it was a huge disaster. This customer came in for a service on their car as they said they bought it a couple of months ago from a used car dealership and wasn't sure if it was ever serviced. Unfortunately for the customer, the vehicle they bought is in terrible shape. The technician told the customer to bring it back to where they bought it from, but the customer said the used car lot told them that it wasn't like that when they sold it. This is the most bedazzled vehicle we've seen on this channel. This Chrysler 300 came in for an airbag recall. This vehicle came in for an oil change and the technician working on it noticed this interest in LED light installation. She said whoever installed it used staples to staple it to the fuel tank, heat shields, and used zip ties to attach the wires to the lower control arm. This truck came in for some electrical issues and an oil change. The technician started with a quick visual inspection and noticed this truck had a very interesting custom sound system. This customer came in to get undercoat and sprayed on their Jeep. The technician said it sounded like the Titanic breaking in half just driving around his parking lot, so he decided to look underneath. Once he saw the terrible shape this Jeep was in, they declined doing any work on it. It's the end of the life for this customer's vehicle. The mechanic said there's no state safety inspections where he lives, so the customer was driving this vehicle like this for quite a while, but finally brought it to the scrapyard after the transmission stopped working. This 2005 F-150 came in for a power steering leak, but the mechanic knew right away there was more wrong with this truck when he drove it on the lift. The customer said he had no clue the frame was rusted out this bad and will be apparently bringing this truck to the scrapyard. Customer states their vehicle is all over the road. The technician was told by the customer he just installed a new brake caliper and thinks it might have caused the issue. This customer drove 5 miles to this shop and brought it in as their car is all over the road. The technician noticed the passenger side rear strut tower to be completely rusted out. He notified the customer that their vehicle was not safe to drive and the customer ended up driving their vehicle away. And this vehicle just came in for an overheating concern. The technician noticed it had no rear brakes left on the car and a handful of other issues. The technician notified the customer and they declined all other repairs. Customer states, I only want my front brakes looked at. Heh. Seems to be his only problems.
This is just the tip of the iceberg of the issues with his customer's Mustang. The shop showed the customer the handful of issues his car had and advised the customer to bring his car to a scrapyard. And this 2013 F-150 just came in for an oil change. The technician noticed this when doing a visual inspection and said the customer declined all repairs and the vehicle left on a tow truck. Keep watching this one. It gets worse every time you watch it. This is on the road next to your wife and kids. A few days prior, this customer failed a safety inspection as they needed new brakes. The customer declined repairs and said they will do it themselves. They are now back to get their vehicle reinspected, which the mechanic found that they never replaced the brakes and had mounted the brake calipers using wood screws. When this vehicle came in for some service work, the technician noticed there were some chains holding up the subframe. This truck was brought in as the owner wanted a new trailer hitch installed, as he said he lost his trailer the other day while driving to the landfill. Long story short, this vehicle was towed in, but the customer declined repairs to get new ball joints and a used tire installed, and drove the vehicle away. The person who filmed this clip professionally installs car audio systems, and had the task of installing a remote wire to turn the amp on and off with a key. He performed the work that the customer wanted, but said this is the craziest custom wiring job he has ever seen, and he's been doing this for quite a while. And this car was brought in as the customer said their rear end wiggles anytime they hit a bump. The technician found the rear subframe to be completely rusted out, and that the rear sway bar bracket punctured a hole in the fuel tank. The customer declined repairs and drove away. How the f is this guy gonna see anything? When this car was in for an oil change, the mechanic noticed that the customer had plugged the sidewall of his tire, and the customer declined to get a new tire installed. This Bentley was towed in to get new batteries installed, and the technician noticed the interior of this car had a bunch of mold. The customer did not want the shop to look into why their interior is covered with mold. And this customer just came in for an oil change. The customer didn't mention anything about this wheel, and he just drove five miles to the shop. This drove in. And this 2011 Chevrolet Silverado was brought in as a customer said they have a fuel leak on the truck they just bought. The technician found the leak and that the frame was completely rusted through. The customer declined repairs as she said she will purchase a frame repair kit online. This customer's wife hit a curb and damaged some wheels and blew out three tires. He declined to purchase new wheels and tried to hammer them straight in the parking lot. Customer states they have a vibration from the rear. The shop told the customer they need a new rear differential and priced out a used one for the customer, but they declined repairs and drove away in four-wheel drive. When this car was brought in for a concern regarding the air conditioning, the technician found the front subframe to be held up by hopes and dreams. The technician recommended to the customer not to drive their vehicle anymore as it's very unsafe, but the customer still continued on his road trip. And the technician said this customer only came in to get a new clutch slave cylinder installed. Once the customer was told of the rust damage, they ended up not doing any of the repairs and drove their vehicle away. When this customer brought in their car for an oil change, the technician noticed both lower control arms were completely rusted out. The customer declined repairs and drove it away. If somebody show up with a car looking like this, do you imagine Joe Price, you see that? I gotta make sure I don't put stuff like this. Huh? What you gonna do about that? What can you do about get this? Ow. Look at what he did to the baddies. Oh, oh my God! He's a he got his own radio and everything. Flashlights, do. This car was brought in as the customer apparently had another shop installed a new lower control arm, but the car is still all over the road. Whoever installed the control arm did not notice a subframe was rusted through, and the customer declined repairs for a new one. When this Mercedes-Benz was brought in to just get one new tire installed, the mechanic noticed that the rear brakes very badly needed to be replaced. The customer declined repairs and drove away. 
This car was pushed and as the owner says, it does not start. The mechanic took a quick glance and thinks that the car needed a new starter or flywheel. For some reason, the owner thought the repairs would be free and declined to pay for a diagnosis and had a friend push the car away. The last time this vehicle came in for a service, the technician told the customer they found coolant in their engine oil. The customer didn't believe the shop and said he will just change the oil himself. The customer is now back a few days later since the engine is now knocking. The technician removed the oil filter and found that the customer left the plastic on the oil filter when he installed it, which cavitated the oil pump and starved the engine of oil. And this customer just brought in their car for an oil change. The mechanic noticed no oil came out when he removed the drain plug, then noticed a crack in the oil pan so he added oil to the engine to see how bad the leak was. The mechanic notified the customer the oil leak was pretty severe, but the customer declined to get the oil pan replaced and drove away. This vehicle was brought in as the owner said the brakes are smoking and they have some brake issues. The shop told him that they need to remove the wheels and see what's wrong, as it's not safe to drive like this. The owner declined and said they will have it towed home, but before they knew it, the owner jumped in their vehicle and drove away. If you've enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like or subscribing if you haven't already. And you can submit clips that you filmed on our website at justrolledinyt.com. Thanks for watching.